Hello. In this video I'm going to talk you through developing applications for FME Server using the REST API. The REST API exposes many of the core functionalities of FME Server through a very simple to use and easy HTTP interface. Let's explore this further. If you go to the, uh, the host name of the machine that FME Server is installed on and then type slash FME REST, this takes you to the root point for the FME REST API for your server. What you need to do then is uh, get a token. So because security is on, I need to generate a token to get in here. So I'm going to enter username and password, generate a token, copy and close. Once I've done this, I can log into the root area of the REST API. You can see here there's several different resources I can browse through here. So I could look at the notification stuff, uh, the engines that are running, all the jobs that are running. I'm going to look in repositories, and I'm going to look in the samples repository, and specifically the Austin download workspace. So as you're browsing through here, notice how that your, the uh, resources and the URL is changing along the top. At any point I can also get the data back in JSON or XML as well and this forms the basis of the REST API that you can basically interact and receive the data back in various different formats so that you can work with it in your application. An example will be the parameters for the, this workspace so this call gives me back all the param published parameters exposed against this workspace. So what I usually do is return this as JSON and then I use this information to dynamically generate combo boxes uh, and check checkbox lists and things like that on my form. You can also do things like run jobs, uh, cancel jobs, you know, schedule and trigger notifications and things like that as well. So the REST API is traditionally tied um, to web development, but any programming language and platform can leverage a REST API such as .NET, C++, Java, they all have HTTP libraries and we recommend that you leverage the REST API because of its simplicity rather than using the native API. We will be focusing on this REST API moving forward as well in terms of adding the new functionality first. So how do you leverage this and how do you work with the REST API? If you go to FMEpedia click on FME Server and then under FME Server click on the developer area this page is meant for developers uh, whether it be a web developer or a .NET developer there's resources here that we link to to help you get up and running quickly uh, with the product. The thing I want to show you today though is the REST Playground. This is a, a tool that I've built that enables you to basically generate very quick um, code snippets for different scenarios linked to the REST API. So let's take a look at this one, requesting a token JavaScript. So this shows you how to request a token uh, using the REST API uh, and using JavaScript and HTML. So I can click generate token here and it gives me a token back. So this code here is um, the code that's actually driving this box in the bottom. So the idea is you can see the code here and you can interact with the demo in the bottom. There are, you know, that's a more simple example, there's much more complex examples. So under data download here on the left, I've clicked on Google Maps, clip, zip and ship. So this allows you to draw an area of interest and then click submit and basically get a zip file back containing data in that area. So this has given me a zip file back. I've just returned the results in a very simple alert box, but it helps you get, get an idea for the product. So the whole idea is, let's take this example further, uh, you can actually come in here and you can, you, know, you can copy all the code and start working with that locally. But the other thing you can do is have a little play around in here. So you can, you know, you can update, I'm updating the HTML here, so if you watch this here, I'm going to click refresh output, and that's changed that. You can also go in and you could change the JavaScript, you could add your own JavaScript, you could delete the JavaScript, rename things. The idea is that you can get up and running with the product without installing FME Server in your own interface. So please check this resource out. Uh, my name's Stuart Harper and if you have any feedback uh, please contact FME Server support at safe.com. Thank you.